Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing my top tips for cycle touring through Belgium and a few things that you should know before you go bikepacking or cycle touring in Belgium. Belgium is a very small country and you can cycle across it in just one or two days, but I would recommend sticking around because Belgium has a lot to offer for cycle adventures. There are multiple Eurovelo cycle routes going through the country of Belgium. Some of the most popular ones include Eurovelo 12, the North Sea cycle route, and Eurovelo 3, the pilgrims route. I have cycled both of these cycle routes. The Eurovelo 12 provides spectacular scenery along the North Sea coast. You will see a lot of World War II history including some of the Atlantic wall fortifications. And if you ride through the center of Belgium on Eurovelo 3, you'll be able to check out some of the industrial heritage in cities like Charleroi. Belgium has great opportunities for camping. There are good camping sites throughout Belgium, including some resort style campings, like the one made famous by the Netflix show Undercover. If you're looking for a great campsite to stay the night on your way through Belgium, make sure to check out City Camping Antwerp. Belgium has excellent cycleways. Belgium is a very bike friendly country with cycleways throughout. Some of the best cycle infrastructure can be found in the Limburg region. With cycleways very similar to the Dutch LF system, you are ensured a smooth, hassle-free riding experience. Good beer is everywhere. Belgium is very famous for its beer. If you like this video, consider joining the channel memberships from just 99 cents or the Hobo Club for whoops, extra content. <laughs> and if you need a fresh tea, make sure to check out my t-shirt designs like this classic campfire tea. Now back to the video. You can pick up good quality beer for not a lot of money. Local breweries and abbeys where the beer has been brewed by monks for hundreds of years are very famous within the regions. But also make sure to try widely available beers from the supermarket with prices starting from as little as 50 cents a bottle. If you don't like camping, don't worry. You'll be able to find inexpensive hotels in Belgium. Brussels is one of the best places to find a hotel because there is a lot of competition. You can find an inexpensive hotel in Brussels for around 50 euros a night. Beware of cobblestones. In some of the older towns of Belgium, such as Bruges, the streets are paved with cobblestones, making riding challenging. But it's still worth a visit to check out the historic buildings and grab a Belgian waffle or some frites in the town square. The people in Belgium are very friendly and most people speak English. However, you will find that more people speak Flemish or Dutch in the northern part of the country. And as you get further south, the predominant language becomes French. A lot of shops in Belgium close on Sundays. This is similar to France. So if you are bikepacking through Belgium, make sure that you have enough supplies to last you if you happen to be traveling through the country on a Sunday. There are still convenience stores open, but you won't be able to get the wide range of products from a lot of the big supermarkets because they will close on Sunday. There are plenty of forested areas if you want to try wild camping in Belgium. But be aware, there are a lot of deer in the forest, so you will find that there are a lot of ticks there also. If you are planning a cycle trip through Belgium, make sure you watch these videos over here on my channel.